Welcome to Life from Africa with Eddie Butita. What's happening in Africa? <laughs> Madagascar have discovered a way of treating uh, Corona. So for the first time, if it works, we are going to be on the map as the Africans solving a world crisis. But that's subject to WHO confirmation because they said that's our own business. Uh, they are not involved in any way and they have not confirmed it. So for now, it's Madagascar's business until confirmed. But Congo also discovered something called Congo Bololo. Pharmacies at the Gambela Central Market to stock up on Congo Bololo believed to cure patients. People with fever and cough are advised to take these plants Congo Bolo, Lumba Lumba, Sisi Simba, Sinki. Listen, Congo, if you are to discover something, please start with a good name. You can't have a scary name. Okay, Corona sounds sweet than Congo Bololo. Like, it, it needs to sound like a medicine. You see, yeah, it's, it's not Congo Bololo. Congo Bololo. Look for a name that the entire world will pronounce. Have a sweet name. Look at COVID. Seriousness. COVID-19. Chloroquine. Ventilator. Then Congo Bololo. Is that something you can even buy as Congo? Like Congo Bololo. Give me Congo Bololo. We want Congo Bololo. Joining me live from Africa is AK Dance all the way from South Sudan. AK Dance, can you hear me? I'm good, thank you. Butita, how are you doing? I didn't expect that. Do you have a stable Wi-Fi connection? What's that? It's a, it's a wireless connection for internet whereby you connect. It's oh, the president has that. I, I heard he, he has that at his... Oh, the president has Yes, it. yes, it is there. Madagascar so discovered a herbal medicine which they, uh, they feel like it can fight corona. And uh, uh, the best thing is, with this is that even some African countries are embracing it. Speaking of Madagascar, I think that this is the right time for Madagascar to prove itself to Africa that it is part of Africa. Because Madagascar has always been like that, that child, that child that you keep away. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever met a Madagascar citizen? Actually, uh, the only thing I know about Madagascar is the map, the, the small map at the corner. That's the only thing I know. Do you, do you even know how they are called? This is the right time for Madagascar to prove itself. If I was Madagascar, I would hold that virus medicine and only give it to people who know how they are called. Does that mean everyone in Uganda will die? I've never heard of a country called Madagascar. Tanzania ordered the medicine, uh, Senegal ordered part of it, and also we have Congo. Congo discovered something called Congo Bololo. Uh, Is that another disease? No, it's herbal medicine. Traditional healing. First of all, I think you have skipped. You can't skip from, fi from finding one for Ebola and you jump to coronavirus. Whose responsibility is it? Which specific country in Africa should be tasked with the role of uh, finding a traditional way of healing? First of all, I think Nigeria has let us down. Nigerians have so many witch doctors that they can support us at this point. And Nigerians are so many that they can come together. They say two heads are better than one. 299 million people in Nigeria can come together and think and figure something out. South Africa is under lockdown and uh, uh, they've been told to stay indoors because the city is no longer safe. When has it ever been safe? You're, spe You're speaking of Joburg. It has never been safe. In fact, I feel like, okay, it, it might be a bit safer right now because at the moment, as we're trying to combat coronavirus, also robbers are at home. The people who can be robbed at, are at home. The ones who watch people getting robbed are also at home. So it is at least safe. Robically. Robically? Yes. But, but do you think even uh, robbing uh, people who are infected increases the chance of spreading? Maybe yes. That, maybe that is the reason why we have high numbers there. Yes, because you're robbing the virus. Because if you rob one person, you rob the virus. Five tags are infected. Five tags are infected. The tags go and spend the money in the club. They infect it also. Joining me live from Africa is our correspondent comedian YY all the way from Djibouti. Thank you very much Putita uh, for bringing me to this live. Now Djibouti situation is, 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 is quite impressive because remember the population in Djibouti is, is like 600, 600, the whole country. The entire country. The entire country. Remember 600. It's, in Djibouti everyone is in government. What is the number of government officials in uh, Djibouti? How many do we have? Like 572 government officials in Djibouti and uh, citizens uh, from 600 that is around 28 
28 citizens. 28 so citizens. only 28 citizens vote for 570. Only 28. Yes, this is whereby uh, a president can win with six votes. What is the best way to fight the disease? I think people can be distributed. One person can be in another city, another person in another city, another person in another city. So the, the, the spread can actually be, 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 be compressed. Because can you imagine if, if you are two cities apart, two cities, this country has like, like, like 28 towns, more than 28 towns. So each person can be in their own town. So you have a city by yourself. How do you go to clubs? You club alone, you, are the, you become the DJ, you become the club owner, you become the bartender, you become the audience as well, you become the sound technician. Let's talk about national celebrations. How, how, do, you, how, how do you handle them? Who attend these celebrations? National celebrations are always done from home, ever, ever since. Why? Ever since. Remember, can you imagine gathering people from different places? 20, getting 28 people together is, is quite a task. From all over the country, getting 28 people to come and gather is quite a task, my brother.